As you make your way along through the side streets of Port Mage, you come upon visible traces of the storm's passing. Many of the houses here boast cracked window panes and sagging awnings, and you pass narrow streets sown with foliage and debris, strewn with foliage and debris. The cobblestones beneath your feet are still slick with water and silt. Before long, you're ankle deep in sucking mud and loose stones. The flooding only worsens up ahead, where the water level rises to the knees. Most of Port Maje's residents have fled this region for dry land. But the murmur of raised voices ahead and the occasional splash suggest that you're not entirely alone. Oh, let us see. So we're slowed here. Don't let them leave. We can't have witnesses. Okay, these guys killed, killed someone. Oh. And they're straight up. What do you need? Okay, what does she have? Holy Radiance. Okay, that didn't work at all. What do you need? Uh -huh. Let's get away. She's taking some damage. All right, what do we have? We've got the pillar. Knock him down. Okay, uh, I'm out of those. Do minor missiles and a flames. Just do minor missiles and the looter. Wow. I'm just getting wrecked. Alright, do we have... Let's just load the quick save and try this again. I'm kind of not having a good time here. <laughs> I mean, I'm having a good time. I am getting my butt kicked a lot harder than I thought it would. Okay. Move over here. Uh, let's see, move over yeah. here. Alright, how do I do this? Oh, does my character have AI on? That's why I'm just casting totally stupid spells. What do you need? Bully him. <laughs> okay. We're up against this guy. We've got a dude in the back. We've also got the looter. She's got interfering strikes. here. Uh, let's see, what do I got? I guess we might as well do the, ma the magic missiles. I'm here. Have these two more or less just wail on this guy. Well, hmm? it's going a bit better. All right. Let's have her move this way. Head for him. What do we have? Let's drop the pillar on the gunner. What do we have? Stances. Cleaving. Warrior stance. Yeah, let's do accuracy and deflection. And let's knock down this looter again. Okay, I got blast. I've got death's herald. Or I could empower. Oh, that... That looter is not actually nearly as dangerous. Never mind, that looter is pretty dangerous. Can I hit him? Onward. Thank you. Okay, uh, how's she doing? Mm -hmm. Iffy. What do we got? Interdiction. Daisy's Blessed Harvest. Let's do an interdiction on this guy. Arthic huh. Roth. <laughs> okay, dazed. And he he looks like he's bloodied, so I guess let's harvest him. Yeah. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Okay, that worked a lot better this time around. Yeah, a couple more levels I think will be okay. Maybe? We'll see. The enemies do scale, so really I think I just need better equipment overall. Well, let's talk to this ghost. Something must be wrong with my vision. No matter how much I blink, I... Cannot make out more than blurry lights in the darkness. 
You... you are quite blinding. What's the last thing you remember? Pain. I came to help one of the traders gather her belongings. Then other men came. They struck me, over and over. Is that why I cannot see? I'm sorry, but you're dead. Come with me, I'll help you. Dead? Oh, but this is terrible. The spirit sighs, wispy shoulders slumping. Let me ease this one's pain, Watcher. Dark eyes solemn. Jody circles her lantern around the departed soul. Okay, do we have anything I'll else to do? So it does look like we might have some foes to have to deal with in here, but that's okay. A lot of dead people, too. Nothing but endless grey mist. This is not the afterlife I was promised. My friend here is a harvester of gone. She'll help you find your way. Right. You'd best follow me then. She addresses the empty air a smidge to the left of where the deceased woman actually stands. But when she glides her lantern through the soul's amorphous form, the essence coalesces inside. So I guess no more ghost buddies for Wanderbot. Now it's just proper afterlifes for people. Well, that's okay. I'll handle that. Either the former inhabitants or looters have taken most of the home's contents. A few scraps of detritus float upon the dark waters. Ah, we found the this Lari fellow. I have quick saved. Not much cause to come out this way unless you're looking for trouble. Although you've found it. The young elf's hand drops to the pistol on his belt, palming the grip. The faintest hint of a sneer plays about his lips as he watches you unblinking. What are you doing here? Ecosi, this is my street. That doesn't change after a little rain. That storm speaker. She didn't concern herself much with this place, did she? He kicks at the water, splashing noisily. Me and my gang, we keep the peace here, and the locals pay their dues. Nothing here now but what they left behind. Savia sent me. She needs you to stop the lo uh, put a stop to the looting. Ilari snorts, his nose wrinkling. He regards you for a moment longer in expectant silence. He th then he throws his head back, letting out a braying, unpleasant laugh. <laughs> Merle, she must be desperate. Not so desperate as to come here on her knees to beg for herself, but she sent you. No, there's my answer. I get my cut. There's no sense in ruining a good thing. Help her out this once, and Savia will owe you a favor. A favor? <laughs> Merle, I should buy a dinner, <laughs> maybe. Mid Shortle, Ilari's brows draw together. He runs a thumb along his jaw, frowning. Done. I'll do it. Bon Piaco. Can't be too bad, having a commander in your pocket. Bon Piaco, a valiant expression meaning my pleasure. Tell Savia this isn't permanent. Second the water clears up and things are back to normal, we are through. I'll spread the word. Gorecci Street is under a lawful protection now. So, now that he is properly uh, removed from the situation, who else is here that, that needs a, a firm boot to the arse? And who else left some valuables behind for me to add to my war chest? Actually, no, it looks like that was it. It's a very small little event area, just that one fight in this. Oh, well, that's awesome. Oh, hold on. Got a weight in my lantern now. Almost feel like I can hear the soul when I jostle it around. How are you feeling? Have you suffered any recent nightmares? I did, recently with you. You were walking the depths of the ocean, but you didn't drown. And in your hand, you gripped the key to Aora's end. Her face alights with a fierceness. I've seen stars wreathing a statue's brow, and souls flowing like tears over gleaming Audra. And then my god headed into the heart of the storm, where he could find the darkness. Tell me what's on your mind. What are your thoughts on Aerithus? We talking during the Saints' War, or after he died? Tell me about him leading up to and during the Saints' War. Mm, I really only know what my folks taught me. Aethys embodied Saint Widwin, but during the war, he got blown to bits. That's the thing about human bodies. Eventually, they all gotta die. As the god of rebirth, of course, Aethys would be coming back. 
But where I differ from my family's view and my high priestess's view is that I've studied the apotheosis of Gone, and I know all about the backside, the downward swoop, the death part of the cycle of life. Obsession, rot, regrowth. What's gone can never be again. What comes back is changed, always. Even if what comes back is a god. What's your take on Aethys during the Saints' War? Or following the Saints' War? Then you mean gone. Sure, maybe my god still answers to Aethys as well. Why not? But Aethys died, and death requires change. He ain't what he was, not in exactly the same way. That's why I think his other aspect, his darkness in the light, is what's burning brighter in him now. No need to fiddle foot around. I'm listening. Okay, should be should you be swearing so much as a priestess? <laughs> Reckon not. She grins wide and confident. But I can't help but be a touch wayward. I don't take it too far. My ma caught me once necking in the murkberry stalks. And of course I fight. But I've not done much more than that. And I don't use the real ugly words. She waggles her sickle around in a helpless sort of gesture. Sometimes the feelings, they just come tumbling right out of me. God's darn it. Adair seems pleased. Yeah, it's best we gotta move on. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, Satahuzi. I don't even know what, what's in Satahuzi, but we might as well check it out. I like this map system. Oh, I should probably take a look at what's up in the top right. Okay, fast mode is active. So this is probably the Storm Priestess's territory, maybe? Probably actually. Stop caps locking. We have. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Hey. no. I got it. Let's keep quiet. Go. I ain't here, but your stuff is. Happily mine. Sweet. Okay. Ah, there she is. Okay, we got... Oh, right. Mohika's Lodge. Or Mokeha. Anything there? Nope. Well, let's just start talking to random people. I guess, actually, let's start by looting the random... Plants. Oh, this one? Nope. A mirror's no. winds blow oh, sweet nope, upon never mind. you. Hello. Hello, you... Seated upon a chair before the bonfire, Ikawa looks considerably more comfortable here, in her home village. She prods absently at the coals with a long stick. Ikawa's face, lined face is pocked with fading scars, but there's no hostility in her calm appraisal as you approach. For many years, I've only ever seen one of your kind. And then, the Valians come. And many things change. They told me what became of your ship. I say again that you are lucky. It is the only ship that survives. I could protect Port Maje, or else its ships, but not both. Perhaps Clario thinks I chose poorly. I guess you and the governor don't really get along. Better than it may seem. Clario can be reasoned with, especially if one approaches him with coin in their pocket. He is not Why a do... cruel man. I suspect he might even enjoy life on the island if he were free of his masters. Why do business with the Valians? Akira, do not all people trade for the same reason? The Valians have brought us guns, medicine, wine, and food. Some of them we have even convinced to help with the canoes. My people have come to enjoy these things. The medicine has helped many of the children recover from fever. We gain from this peace. So long as Clario keeps his company masters away, we lose little. Mokeha is causing trouble in town. Ikawa sighs deeply and folds her hands in her lap. Mokeha is proud, like her father. Each day this alliance tests her patience. Is she what your daughter? Happened? Oh. The long pauses keep getting me because just baseline, I am only partially listening because I'm I'm thinking about what to say and like how to respond to keep it flowing. 
And so unfortunately, when they do this like really long pause, you know, the tester patience. What has happened? That is enough for me to get a word in edgewise, but not a whole sentence. And it's messing with me. Anyway, uh, let's see. Is she your daughter? She should. Oh, thank you. That's my blood, my caste, my temper. But she is a daughter of the tribe. It is different among our people. She nearly killed a man. Mokeha could have killed him if she wished to. Is it not enough that he lives? She lives in your village. She is your responsibility. If you wish something from Mokeha, my advice is to trade for it. Is that not how the outsiders get everything they need? Oh, you're not helpful. I don't see why not. Okay. Well, what else do we have? Chieftain's Lodge. Got some other stuff. Bunch of warriors. I'll have what is this? Clusters of coral do dot the watery landscape with bright blooms of color. I think she went to bed. Easy now. I'll take care of you. I don't know if that was actually uh bad, but that's fine. Okay, uh let's see. Let's keep going. Do Mokeha's Lodge. I'm probably gonna want to save before this. Just because I don't know the full story the story. I'm assuming what's his face lost a real big bet. All right. Well, while we're here, better part of that. She actually aware? Keeping an eye out. Yeah, I guess she is aware. Weird. What for? Do you skulk around in the dark? Do you not sleep? Oh. All right. Time to kill some time. Uh, let's see. Can I wait until morning? Resting is not allowed in this area. Wait, but that's fine. Can I just wait for like an hour? Day seven, hour seven, and she has totally disappeared. Easy now. Well then. I'll handle. This. I'll. Hooray! Ooh, medicine. Good stuff. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's see. Where is this Mokeha? Ah, oh, there she is. The Amawa woman steps sideways, angling herself towards you and meets your gaze with an intense stare. Outsiders of every sort. This is what the Valians have brought us. Her scarred brow wrinkles and her frown deepens into a somber grimace. You were looking for a Kawa? Who do we have? Amawa, Dwarf, or Orlin. Interesting. Rinko says that you robbed him during a card game. Rinko? She scoffs in a guttural burst of sound. The Valian? You jest, Akira. I should have thrown him into the sea. He dares to call me a thief? Why don't you tell me what really happened? What else? The Valians are fools. But Akawa wishes to trade, so we must be patient. We must save them from Nagati's storms. Even when they ignore our advice. Akawa told me I should see the tavern. Speak with their people. Learn patience. The traitor, Aophania, she taught me to play Valian cards. A simple game, but none would play with me in the tavern. Not until Rinko. I thought him kind until I proved the victor and he grew angry. Until he stood in front of his kin and called me a Mataru of Sadahuzi, a filthy islander and a cheat. Matar Mataru of... Sadahuzi, the highest class of Huana society, consisting primarily of warriors and priests. Tribal chieftains traditionally rise from the warrior ranks. The Mataru shoulder the responsibility of governing the other castes and determining the practical and spiritual needs of the, the tribe. For that? Yes. I beat him. Why does this concern you? You should have told the guards you've been branded a thief. I am no thief. Do you mean to insult me? I am Mataru. I am the guard in Sadahusi. I defend this village. If I see fit to punish a man, it is my duty. If a Valian broke Juana law, would you be satisfied with the fine levied by the governor? That, that is not the same. 
This has long been our island. Let's see. Rinko's just a merchant. He can't fight you as an equal. Mo uh, Mokeha opens her mouth to speak, then snaps it shut. She grimaces, averting her gaze to the sand. The faint trace of a smile forms on the I did not lips. consider this. He is Kwaru. It is not in him to fight for the village. Perhaps I was impatient. Give me the coin purse and we'll call it square. Huh. Then here is what you came for, though it is an uneven trade. Okay, she considers the coin purse in her hand for a moment before handing it to you. You. Her mouth twists into a resentful frown. I will ask our chieftain to send a healer for that idiot Valian. Perhaps that will quiet his whimpering. All right, there we go. And we're done. Almost done. But you didn't think I wasn't going to rob the chieftain's what? lodge. I'm a good person, but I'm a bit of a pickpocket. Or a pick house? We'll see. Yeah, there's nothing in... There's no one in here. God. It's okay. like they just are asking to be robbed. Whoop. Let's get out of here. I don't know why I'm super klepto right now. I don't even need to be. I'm sure I will get substantially better. Uh, You're a follower of the light? The light? Oh, you mean... Uh, well, depends on what you mean by follow. Maybe you heard earlier? I follow Aethys too. Mostly. In a way. I mean, I am a child of the Dawn Stars. Even if firstly I'm a Gaunite. That's, uh, that's good, I guess. For you. Uh, oh, maybe you don't want to talk about it. That's all right. Surely some other time then. Was it the way I said it? Or maybe I'm in need of a washing. Uh, let's see. Well, there we go. I, I think it's something about video games. Oh, right. I wanted to look at this. Oh, so we can even fast travel to Rinko's home. That's awesome. The population, 3,200. Religions, Andra, Wodeka, Aethys. Imports, wheat, silk, leather, cotton textiles, animancy equipment, marble. Exports, palm oil, Vorlis, Eric, rice fish. Huh. I like this. This is neat. So you can see ocean folk, other island of Maa. Cool. Let's go to Rinko's home. But yeah, video games, I think, have desensitized me to stealing in video games. Not in real life. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. It's what do you want to ask? Shody. What do you want to ask? That stupid pause. She, she means well. I can see that. And she's spirited, and if I was still young and didn't know the things I know, it'd be different. But anybody got that much faith in any god, let alone Aethys? I don't know how to talk to someone like that. Not these days. I get why she's like that. And I was there once, long time back. His eyelids flare with relieved embarrassment. But it's cause of that I can't see a way to respect it. I'm no good at hiding it from her either. I don't see this getting better. There's more to her than you're giving her credit for. It doesn't seem like she's any different than what she shows. She's a Dawn Star, but she doesn't worship Aethys. She worships Gon. Same thing, really. That's just her trying to find a way to worship Aethys that makes sense to her. Well, I guess that sounds familiar now that you mention it. Hello. Most days I'd fire up the kettle for you or something. Sorry. You spoke to Mokeha. She claims she won fairly and you insulted her. A surprise! The brute speaks! And you have survived the conversation in one piece. Merla. Perhaps my tongue was loosened by drink. What of it? Is any man who insults the savage's pride due a beating? The law is on my side! Not if the money belonged to her. You... you have no proof. Have a heart. I cannot work as I am. If I cannot pay my dues, I will lose my home. They will put my boy on the street. He does not deserve that. 
It might help if you didn't call them savages. I refer only to Mokeha, that shark-faced harpy. May Andra's beasts feast upon her eyes. Rico thrashes feebly in his bed, one fist raised defiantly. She cheated me. Are we to lose our home for the sake of Clario's alliance? Man, I just don't like this guy. Confess to Darbo or spend the rest of your sorry life eating nothing but soup. Renko stares up at you, his eyes wide. His hands grip tightly at the sheet. It is not enough that she has ruined me. Now you threaten me in my home. Please, for the sake of my son, I will tell the guards the truth. I swear it. I must hope that Clario's dogs will be more merciful than you. Hmm. Did I give him the coin purse? Or do I just have it? Hmm. Am I done? Burning bridges. The moment the ship arrives, I will take my family back to Oost. Ah. Am I am I done? Can I let's type well. Yeah. How much money is it? Rinko's earring. So really, the coin purse just had... Oh no, it had some. Well, you know what? Uh, what do we think? Do we... What do we do keep with this, or do we do time travel magic to give him his money? Because otherwise, I have his money. And... Oh yeah, 2,000 copper and his... Um... Alright, well... I guess I win this deal. Farewell! And no coin for the cheat. Honestly, I don't even miss. Eh. I don't know. I just mostly feel. Wait, question. Let's go back to the kid. Can I give the kid the money? That's the real question, because the kid's the victim. I don't care about Rinko. Mama brings me stuff from her work sometimes. Real nope. old stuff. Hmm. Time travel back and let the tribal girl keep it. I mean, I could. But that would be, like, time. Well, I think we're good. Okay. Restoring order. Return to Savia. What else do we have? Adair's friend. So, mostly the rest of these are... are exploration-based. Let's go back to the... let's go back to the prison. And turn in this quest, at the very least. I guess I end up just swindling everybody with my sweet words. I'm going to be just ridiculously wealthy by, like, playing everybody against each other by the end of this game. I'm not a bad guy. I'd return it if they asked. But no, the dialogue doesn't want to let me give him his money after telling him to turn himself in. Man, all right, whatever. Keeping out of trouble. A little I convinced. Jazz. What is it? I convinced Alaria to keep watch on Gretchy Street. Perfetto. He's a little shit, ne? But a lazy one. He will not cause trouble if he does not have to. Easier to work with a familiar face for the moment. I can deal with him later. So, we have one small part of Port Maggi under control. A good start. Well, here you are, for your time. <laughs> if I had ten men like you, the whole of Port Maggi would be set right within the week. Well then, seeing as I am... I've hit a bit of a... A windfall, I guess you could say. Let's uh, let's go shopping for a bit. I don't know if it's wasteful, but considering I'm, I'm, uh, silver tonguing my way into a shocking amount of wealth. Swords. See if there's anything I can do to make my character not die. We have the physicer's belt. I can look into the shattered vengeance. It's pricey though. It does less damage, but it has more accuracy. 30% extra damage. Okay. 
And then also the stacking curse. That's pretty good, actually. Let's buy it. And I am no longer rich. But that's fine, because I just got one hell of a... one hell of a thing. Oh, I can enchant, too. I get out of here. I'll probably want to look into equipment at some point. Oh, right! I forgot. I've got, like, an amulet I can put on. What else do we have? Uh... I can't put hats or hoods on. And she's got a hood, but... Doesn't need the rest. Armor... What are these? Just clothing, I think. Well, I guess not so useful. There's an Arquebus. Does about the same amount of damage as the other thing. Let's see. Someone needs to wear the tricorn hat with a feather. Right. I have him wearing this, but there's no reason why he needs to. Oops. There we go. Oh my god. Well, uh, unfortunately... Oh wait, no. There we go. <laughs> well, we have a right old conquistador. Also, I think... Yeah. That's a bit lazy. The hat hides his hair. It's not like you can tell from this angle, but I can, I can tell. Alright, let's... Leave on foot. Takes an hour to walk that far? How big is the city? It takes me an hour to walk... That is an unrealistically large city. Let me tell you. Okay, so now we've got our third party member that I kind of needed. Let's head for this old battleground. I'm just gonna look around for a while. Luckily, we don't have to worry about um, upkeep costs. So, the sight of a recent battle spreads before you. The bodies of the routed forest still lie where they fell. Though most of them have been picked clean by scavenging beasts. Search the location. And we get a scroll of winter wind. And nothing else. Let's see. If I press M, we've still got the rest. I don't think there was anything over here. Yeah. I was already there. Alright, let's head this way. head down because I don't think oh right the rice farm just trades with us I guess time to head for the Anguithan dig site is there anything else is a camp some hard tack can I bypass the dig site for a second yeah I can mainly just for the fresh fruit this is a small island I was expecting bigger, honestly. But then again, we're supposed to be tootling around on a boat for a while. So it kind of makes sense. Why? And we've leveled up again. 